Benja version 2.2 is out now, and this one is gonna change the way you develop custom e-commerce applications. In this video, I wanna cover three topics, performance, developer experience, and extensibility. First of all, performance. Venja is already very fast. In fact, it's a lot faster than a lot of other e-commerce frameworks you've probably heard of. But how does that scale? Where is the performance ceiling? What kind of scale can you build at with a Venja application? Well, the great thing about being an open source project is that we have a community full of developers from all kinds of companies working at all kinds of scales. Now, one team in particular is working on a very large marketplace application. They have 22 channels that are operating across European countries, 180,000 products, over 1 million product translations, 4 million product variants, and 28 million variant translations. They've got over 1.3 million product images and over 4,000 facet values. And honestly, they were reaching the performance ceiling of Venger at this scale. So when it came to updating all the dependencies for version 2.2, one of the main areas of focus that I was interested in was the data access layer. This is how your application code interfaces with the data in your database. And it turns out that this is the point where a lot of the bottleneck was located. So over the past couple of months, I've been working very closely with this team, and in particular one developer, Eugene Nitsenko, very, very impactful changes. First of all, let's look at the kind of performance issues they were running into at that scale. So we can see here in Venger 2.1, the product list query could take between seven and 15 seconds. Just viewing a product detail could take from five to 10 seconds. Variants can take seven to 15 seconds and so on. Even something as simple as a variant detail takes one second, which is much longer than you should expect for a single item. So of course, this is not the kind of latency that we expect from Venger. And the question is, can we do something about it? Well, I'm happy to say that with all the hard work from this team, Eugene in particular, Venger 2.2 completely handles this issue. So over the course of these pull requests, we really had to dive deep into the internals of type ORM, the library that we use to access the database. And this resulted in some unexpectedly impactful optimizations. And we've even now got uh, pull requests in with the type ORM project itself. Again, this is the beauty of open source. When we make a breakthrough, then we can share it to the whole community of type ORM users, and there's literally millions of them. So these are potentially very, very high impact changes that we, we, we're contributing to the community as a whole here. And let's take a look at the end result of all of that in Venger 2.2. This is what you can expect when operating at this scale. We can see the average from before and the average now. So the product list goes from average of 10.7 seconds to an average of 500 milliseconds. Product detail, average 7.5 seconds. The new average, 115 milliseconds. That's a 65 times speed up. 65 times, let that sink in. And as you can see across the board, we have ridiculous speed ups. I mean, this is, this is, this, this is just completely handled this situation. So I can confidently say that Venger version 2.2 is the fastest version of Venger ever, and it probably pushes Venger into the realms of fastest e-commerce frameworks. So that's a major performance increase in Venger 2.2. As well as that, we've updated all our major dependencies, including Angular for the admin UI. So if you're generating custom admin UI extensions, then you, you're gonna be now on the latest version of Angular, which also comes with its own performance benefits. For example, compilation times can be much, much faster now using the latest Angular Builder. And likewise, we've increased our minimum TypeScript version. And of course, every single TypeScript version, they are increasing the performance of the TypeScript compiler. So this is now also in there. Okay, let's talk about the next topic, developer experience. Now, from the very start of the Venger project, developer experience has been a cornerstone. It's one of our design goals. It's one of our core principles. We want to make developing custom e-commerce applications a joy, make it fast, make it fun, make it intuitive. So we think very, very hard about the APIs that we design. They have to be pragmatic. They have to be intuitive. They have to be consistent. I think we mostly get this right. And in general, you can develop features very, very quickly in Venger as compared to other similar frameworks. But again, we have to ask ourselves the question, 
what are the limits right now and can we smash through those limits just like we did with the performance well i'm happy to say that in venger 2.2 we've solved this as well we have now a brand new cli tool and this is not just a templating engine it's not just a scaffolding tool which will copy some files over into your project no this is a very sophisticated code analysis tool which will analyze your venger project down to the individual plugin class service entity it understands the source code at the level of the abstract syntax tree and it can refactor your code to save you literally hours of manual work now over the last five plus years of building venger apps and working with the community we've developed a set of best practices and patterns and conventions which are encoded into our documentation but the thing with documentation is number one you've got to read the documentation Number two, if you've read it, you've got to then remember it every time you want to implement that same feature over and over again. And then lastly, even if you know all this stuff really well, people still make mistakes. Plus, it takes time. So what if we could take all of that knowledge, all of those patterns, those best practices, and we can put them into a tool that automates everything for you? That's what you've got with the new Venger CLI. So check out the demo video, see it in action for yourself, and start using it. And finally, let's talk about extensibility. Venger is already one of the most extensible platforms for building e-commerce applications. But in version 2.2, we're taking that up a notch as well. We've introduced a brand new entity duplication API. This allows you to rapidly create duplicates, copies of any of the entities within Venger, including your own custom entities. By default, we're shipping with duplication capabilities for products, for collections, and for promotions. And in future versions, we'll be shipping duplication functionality for more entities. And using the new Entity Duplicator interface, you can write your own duplicators right now. There are examples right here in our new documentation. We've made our custom fields feature even more powerful than it already is by introducing the ability to add permissions on custom fields. Here's our new documentation, which shows you how to use the feature. It makes use of our existing role-based access control permission system. And now you can bake them right into custom fields to restrict access to certain fields only to those administrators with the required permissions. Speaking of custom fields, you can now define custom fields on your own custom entities. Up until this version, it was only possible to define custom fields on the built-in entities that we ship as default with the Venger core. This was a limitation for plugin authors who wanted to write plugins which then could be shared and extended by other users. Let's say, for example, I write a CMS plugin that exposes a brand new article entity. Another user of this plugin might want to add their own special fields to that article entity. Up until now, that has just not been possible. With Venger 2.2, you can now add support to any custom entity for custom fields. And the best part is doing so involves just a couple of lines of changes to any of your existing custom entities. You can see it right here in the docs. We've also increased the number of ways you can extend our admin UI. It's now possible to define custom alerts. So you can write a plugin which can give the administrator alerts when they need to take some action. For example, in our new documentation, you can see this example where the administrator gets notified when there's an order that requires some kind of approval. And we have this full example here in our new documentation. We've also added the possibility to define custom drop down menu items on any screen in the admin UI. So here's an example in our brand new docs where we're adding an invoice button to the drop down menu for the order detail page. The same can be done on any list or detail view in the whole admin UI app. And finally, it's now possible to override any of the built-in routes in the admin UI app. Let's say, for example, you've got very special requirements in the way that you handle the order detail page. Previously, it was only possible to customize particular sections of that page. With Venger 2.2, you can now swap out that entire route for a completely custom component that can be written in Angular or React. Here's the new documentation that covers this. There are way more features and fixes in this release. The rest of them are covered in the release blog post and in the changelog, of course. But as you can see, this is the best ever version of Venger. I'd like to end by thanking our community for all of the support, all of the bug reports, the feature requests, and of course, the direct contributions that have gone into this version. I'm really excited to see what you all build with this latest version of Venger.